What you guys got on a Hisoto H2 mini PC? It's a fanless mini PC with an i5-4200U processor, which is dual core. We've got an Intel HD graphics 4400 in here. Comes with 4 gigabytes of RAM, but I think it can be upgraded as well to 8 gigabytes. Uh, I need to check the specs on that. Couldn't find much more information on it. it. Does have capabilities of gaming on here, and we'll take a look at some gaming and also what you get in the kit. So this is everything you're going to get inside the box. It does come pre-configured with Windows 10, RAM and also a solid state drive installed in here which is 128 gigabytes. So this is a, a mouse mat that they uh, give you as well and you get all the other stuff in here. Now whether you want to just have something small to surf the internet, send emails, watch YouTube videos, this PC is going to be ideal. It comes pre-done, you haven't got to worry about it. You've got your user manual here to tell you how, how to use the device. It's very straightforward and easy to do. Just wire it up just as you would a normal computer. You've got a mounting bracket here so you can mount it to the back of a monitor or to the wall. You've got an extra SATA cable and a power cable, which is in case you want to install a solid state drive or a high drive inside here as well. You've got your two antennas which support 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. You've also got your mounting bracket here. You've got your adapter with your power bank here, which is to power the actual unit itself. And you've also got your cable here to plug into the wall. And this is the actual mini PC itself. You've got your power switch on the front. Now also you have six USB ports on here. Four are USB 3.0 and two USB 2.0 here and they're on the front of the panel here as well. Now the outer case is made of a brushed aluminium alloy, which means this is passively cooled. This will get warm to the touch, which means it's going to uh, dissipate heat through the case itself. You've got your antennas here where you're gonna put those in, and also you've got your VGA here and HDMI uh, port there, your LAN, which is one gigabit, and you've also got your speaker and microphone inputs on there as well. This is where you're going to mount your bracket here so you can stand it up if you wish vertically. And also you've got the bottom here which has plenty of ventilation. And you can also unscrew this where you can mount your solid state drive or mechanical drive depending on what you want to put in here. Solid state will be the best way to go. And that will be mounted inside as I'll show you in a second. Let me just take the uh, bottom piece off here so you can see inside the actual unit itself. And there we have the actual mini computers. Very well built as you can see. We've got our memory in there which can be upgraded. We've also got our 128 gigabyte uh, solid state drive in there which is going to be for our Windows operating system. Uh, this can be upgraded as well if you want to. And we also have our Broadcom uh, Wi-Fi adapter in there as well now the memory comes with four gigabytes which can be upgraded as well uh, but basically uh, this will probably be enough for most people for what they're going to be using this for now this sort of pc would be great in an office or some sort of a uh, general computing computer or maybe if you wanted to play retro games or something like that you can do that also now you can see here there's a little power adapter down there and there's also a sata port down here and this is for your drive if you want to put an extra storage inside here you can do and basically they give you the cables to do that as well which is going to be your power cable and also your SATA cable and this will basically sit um, above your memory here so it will be screwed to the bottom of the case inside okay so it's not going to be outside it will be inside and you can screw that in there let me just show you this here I'll just rest this on top here uh, so you can see the actual uh, part where I'm going to uh, put it in there let me just turn this to one side to try and see whether you'll be able to visibly see that now you should be able to see a chip there which is uh, going to be passively cooled on the outer case there as well and also i'm just going to quickly show you these cables here where they're going to plug in so if you look at where the cables are you've got your little power cable and this is going to plug in to this little port on here i'll show you where the uh, port is you see that little white port on the edge here and there's just one here so there's your power and this will go down here and then you've got your SATA cable which will plug in there and of course this will go into uh, the actual solid state drive I would advise you to use a solid state drive and when we put the bottom on here we can see there is some screw holes here let me just turn this to one side so you can see 
the gap here and this is where it'll be mounted to the bottom you can just see there's enough space above there to uh, put in your solid state drive in there if you wanted to use that you could use a mechanical drive if you wanted to in there uh, but again then this will obviously generate a little bit more heat i think than a solid state drive but it should be okay to run in there as it will sit along this way here and that's pretty much it for the inside of uh, the case here i'm just going to put this to one side and get this powered up we'll see how fast it boots up now it does come pre-installed with windows 10 pro uh, which is activated so we don't have to worry about installing windows it does have a bios so you can go into the bios i'm just going to load this up and you can see how quick this is and there we go we're getting up to the desktop already and that's how fast this little machine is it's capable of doing quite a lot of stuff like uh, watching movies and also uh, Kodi and I'm going to be doing a bit of gaming here just to test it now I've just installed uh, Fortnite just to see whether it can play Fortnite here and uh, you can see it's playable it's actually working and I'll try some different settings here so you can see the settings of Fortnite now I'm not suggesting you go out and buy this just to play Fortnite but it's just an option available just in case people are wondering whether it can actually play games it will definitely play retro games as you'll see a little bit later on in the video but I'm just testing Fortnite here because I know Fortnite is very popular and it does have H uh, HD of 4400 uh, graphics on here which is made by Intel so it's nothing spectacular but it does actually do what you need it to do so let me go in here and show you the specs that we're running at the moment you can see these specs are on near and also we've got shadows off anti-aliasing off textures high and also effects high and pro uh, processing is on medium but i'm going to make a few changes here to see whether we can get this uh, looking a bit better uh, but obviously without taxing the system too far so we've got epic on there for the textures we've also got effects to medium post processing we've got down to low and you can play around with this uh, as much as you like to try and get it to look a little bit better i'm just trying to show you guys uh, what it's capable of and what it's not capable of now we're playing at 1920 by 1080 and in my personal opinion i think it's doing a pretty good job for such a small computer with uh, you know onboard graphics basically we've got a uh, hd uh, intel uh, 4400 uh, graphics on here which is uh, not the best graphics in the world but it seems to be doing okay and you could turn this down even more if you wanted to get a few more frames per second um, but as a competitive player i'm not so sure this is going to be the ultimate gaming machine for you uh, hardcore gamers out there but if you're after something that can uh, surf the web and uh, do your emails and play a few games you can see the temperature there at 62 celsius on the outside it is warm to the touch and that's because this is passively cooled now i've just made one more small change i've turned the effects down to low and left the textures up to epic and just to see whether we can get a little bit more smoother and you can see that's a lot more smoother now it's not as laggy and uh, it is playable and uh, of course we have got the textures up on uh, epic there so with a bit of trial and error we can sort of uh, get this to a playable state and uh, it's doing pretty well to be honest with you so let me try go onto the map here and see what it looks like when we're in the air now you're going to get a bit of lag this obviously this is not a, a true full-blown uh, gaming uh, system but it will play games like fortnite and it will play retro games and other types of games so i'm just going to be putting it through its test really but you can see it's quite smooth and uh, pretty impressed really for this type of uh, PC just moving it about to see if there's a little bit of lag there um, but other than that it's not too bad so we'll just just get landed down here and see how smooth it is when we're running around and I think this is probably uh, the sweet spot for this little machine and remember this is running on four gigabytes of DDR3 uh, RAM also an i5 4200U processor so not too shabby it's doing pretty well and uh, I'll try one more here we try Asphalt Legends and this is another game you can get from the uh, Windows Store here and you can see it's playing this no problems at all nice and smooth so pretty impressed with the uh, gameplay here for these particular types of games and you can try other things like CS as well which isn't too taxing you'll probably be able to play CS on this little machine as well which isn't too bad and again these are free to play uh, games you can download these and test them out yourself and we are just solely testing games today 
and uh, this will normally be a true test of what this little machine can actually do and you can see it's having no problems at all whatsoever uh, with this sort of game so let's get Dolphin emulator installed on the system and I'll try a couple of retro games as well now you may have to turn the settings down on here and I'll probably use native settings for the graphics just to see whether we can get this to run nice and smoothly now if you are a retro gamer and you want to play GameCube games or Wii games and you'll be able to play SNES games and other types of retro games on this box with no problems at all you can see it's nice and smooth and uh, I'm having no problems at all playing these games and I'm pretty blown away really by the uh, quality of this little PC and it's pretty affordable as well and it comes pre-configured so you don't have to worry about it you just get it out of the box plug it in and you're good to go and uh, you can see here we're playing another type of game here which is a pretty decent game if you're into your fighting games again this is having no trouble whatsoever uh, playing these nice and smooth no jerkiness there and this is playing on native settings which is plenty ample for this little machine to run on and of course this is the Hisotal H2 uh, mini PC with the i5 4200U with 4 gigabytes of DDR3 memory uh, it does come with 128 gigabytes this one but they do a 256 gigabyte version as well it is fanless it's passively cooled has the Intel HD graphics 4400 uh, which is pretty nice as well works pretty well as you can see here uh, nice and small lightweight doesn't draw a lot of power pretty impressed with this little unit and I'll leave all the information in the video description if you are interested then uh, the information will be down there the link to the product anyway that's about it for this video my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope you enjoyed this one if you want to see more uh, videos with this little machine then let me know in the comment section below what you want to see me try with this uh, setup also maybe you want to see a setup guide of a retro uh, system or something like that let me know in the comment section below and I'll try and do my best to make those videos for you. Also got the merch store up and running if you're interested. The link will be in the video description. Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.